Let's go ahead and do one more differential equation. This one is not going to be in terms of y and x, uh, but in w and t. So we have dw dt is equal to 1 half 100 minus w uh, through 0, 80. And this time, y is defined as w of t. So again, let's go ahead and separate. We're going to have to move that 100 minus w to the left. So let's divide that over. So we get 1 over. 100 minus w dw is equal to, and I'm going to leave that 1 half over on the right side. I always think that it's easier to leave a coefficient over on the right side. So now that we're separated, we can go ahead and integrate. Now on the left side, that's a u sub. If u is 100 minus w, then du is negative dw. If I want to put a negative with the dw, I need to put a negative out front. So now I have a negative 1 over u du, which is, of course, natural log. So I've got negative natural log, but it's not really u. It's really 100 minus w on the left side. On the right side, I simply have... Gotta love when the bells go off when I'm making a video. So on the right side, we have 1 half t plus t. Very important to pay attention to the variables being used. Keep them in terms of w and t. AP does not like it when you go x and y when they want w and t. All right, so from here, we could then rewrite this as uh, an exponent problem using base e. So we have e to the 1 half t plus c uh, is equal to negative 100 minus w. Well, I can distribute the negative there and get e to the 1 half t, not squared, plus c uh, is equal to negative 100 plus w. Well, since we're solving for w, let's go ahead and add that 100 over to the other side. And remember, we can move that c as a big c out in front. So we can go ahead and go 100 plus c e to the 1 half t is equal to w. Well, now we can go ahead and plug in our 0, comma 80. So we get uh, 100 plus c e to the 0 equals 80. And remember, anything to the 0 power is 1. So that would make c negative 20. So our final answer here would be w is equal to 100 minus 20 e to the 1 half t.